And now, to record live their 20th album, give it to them, the Jackson Seven!
doing? At the start of the ship stood the captain. I could hear him when he called out my name.
give God the praise. One of them belonged to me. I'd like to see the hands of you that have prayed for that mansion. How many of you know something about prayer this evening? I'm talking about those of you that have prayed when people have grinned in your faces and went out and talked about you behind your backs. Somebody here know what it means to take their problem to the Lord on the knees. Do I have a witness? How many know what it means to get on the knees and take their problem to the Lord? Why don't you come on, let's have a little more church here today. to stumble when you're on your knees but if you stay on your knees the Lord may not come when you or you or you want him but I know for myself that he'll come on time do I have a witness and how many of you can truthfully say without a doubt the Lord will bless you how many can say without a doubt that God have already blessed you tonight somebody come here looking for a blessing do I have a witness but I didn't see you raise your hand when I asked you, had God bless you? Somebody lying in a hospital this evening don't have hands to wave like you and I have. Somebody don't have the strength to just lift their hands above their head like we have tonight. 
today. I'm going to ask you one more time. How many know God that bless you today? Let me see you wave your hand. Let me hear you say, yeah. Say, yeah.
in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. Ah, power in the name of Jesus. For those of you who are here tonight and, and witnessing this live recording session, I want you to remember that we did it all in the name of Jesus. And I want the religious radio announcers, uh, when they put their record on the turntable and they begin to play, I want them to play it uh, in the name of Jesus. When this product is on the market and you go down uh, to your radio station uh, and down to your record shop uh, and pick up your VCR, and take it home and play some cassette tape. Be see to come into your video. I, I want you. When you feel the service, I want you to remember that we did it all in the name of Jesus. Anybody know anything about the name? Won't it bring joy tonight? back steps of the old house and tell each other our visions of heaven and I still believe to my soul there got to be such a place how many believe there's a heaven somewhere I never will forget the day in little town in Alabama listen a lady in a wheelchair Came to our dressing room not long ago. She says, I want to thank you for thinking of the handicapped. And I want you to know that I love you so. She said, don't worry about me and my condition. For I'm on my way to that city so bright and fast. There would be no tears, no pain, no sorrow of death. And she said, I won't need this old wheelchair there because my darling arms will be new. And my eyes, I know they will be too. And she said, I won't ride. I'd like to see the heaven you ever need tonight. There is such a place. She didn't stop there. She said, in a few more days, my life will be over. And somebody will leave my body in the cold, cold ground. But she said, oh, one day, one day I'll rise. After that old trumpet has sound. I wonder, do I have a witness here? 
And she said, then I won't have to worry no more about my condition. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have taken me to the city so bright and fair. For there will be no tears, no pain, no sorrow there. And she said, I won't need the soul. We'll share that. chapter 6. chapter says there will be there will be a new heaven you don't hear me there will be a new heaven there where the wolves and the lamb shall eat together and the Bible says the lion shall eat straw just like the ox and the part I like about it is that from one new moon to the other from one Sabbath to the other shall all flesh Come and worship before me. Thus said the Lord God Almighty. But I'm gonna tell you this, listen. It didn't say anything about the Baptist. I'm gonna talk to you right now. It didn't say anything about the Methodist. Am I right about it? It didn't say anything about the seven day minutes. It didn't say anything about the Presbyterian. It didn't say anything about the Church of God and Christ. But didn't God say
with the law. In order to walk around heaven with the Lord, you've got to be born again. Can I get a witness? God don't want uh, no coward soldier. Somebody ought to be a witness here tonight. God don't have to have no coward soldier. My Bible tell me if you be ashamed of the old God down here, he's out here. Be ashamed of the only for my Father which is in heaven. Somebody ought to lift a hand and say yes. Somebody ought to say yes. You feel like have a little bit more service. You see, in order to be in God's army, you've got to dress up to be in God's army. Do I have a witness here? The first thing is uh, you got to put on uh, the helmet uh, of salvation. I wish I had a witness here tonight. Uh, oh Lord. You got to put on the breastplate of righteousness. Somebody read that tonight. That don't mind being a witness for him. And that ain't all cheering. In order to walk in battle, you got to have on the shoes of peace. Somebody say yeah. Wave your hand and say yeah. Sing this song to you tonight. God don't want, God don't need, God don't have to have. Oh, no coward soldier. Fellas, put your hands together. Listen.
come on in now. Everybody in this auditorium ought to be able to testify about something good that God have done for you. I don't mind telling him. Lord, I come to you as I'm as I know how thanking you for this day. this journey give me the strength and power Lord teach me what to say help me to tell the ones that's lost Lord you hung you bled and you died on Carries cross and at your feet all of the burdens they can lay. So tell God about it and He will make it.
about 2 a.m. one morning, I wake with fire over my head. But you see, I knew it was nothing but the grace of God Almighty that touched my body, tore me together, and wake up your wife and your children. When I got out of my bed, I met my daughter telling me, Daddy, it's a whole lot of smoke in the house. couldn't find my son. Don't tell me God won't make a way for you. My son had fell asleep in the floor watching television. But you see how God made a way. He managed to let me step on my son's hand. And he woke up and said, Daddy, what's going on? I told him to get up. We've got to get out of here. But you see, we all Say the clothes that we had on our backs. You can't tell me that God won't make a way for you. Oh, my mother and father was standing there shedding tears. And my dad looked at me and said, Huey, what are you going to do now? But I looked at him and I told him it wasn't mine in the first place. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? I told him, I said, God, give it! God Almighty! God Almighty, take it away, I said. Everybody 
the Mississippi Mass Choir. He look. He look. Jesus. Some of you looking at me like I'm strange here tonight. I'm not recording, but I'm still lifting up the name of Jesus. He look. He look. I don't know what you come to do tonight, but my soul is filled tonight. He look. He look. Some of you don't understand me. I can still look at you and say, He looked, He looked. Best friend walked away and closed the door in my face. I looked at them and I said, He looked, He looked. He looked. just about seen it all in life. So I once was an alcoholic. From that I became a drug addict. I lost my family. I lost my house. I lost my automobile. So, but through all of that, I found Jesus most important thing in my life I have accepted the Lord and said the Lord have blessed me that I have my family back I don't have the same house but I have another house and a bigger house and a better house he said I promise the Lord if I don't have food to eat if I didn't have shoes to put on my children's feet. I was gonna hold on because he promised me if I would make one step, he would make two. And I wanna know how many are you holding on tonight? Let me see you wave your hand if you're holding on. I know some of you are going through something just like he had. But he said, Lord, as long as I know I can hold on to God on changing hands. I'm not going to worry about it because I know everything is going to be all right. How many know it's going to be all right? If my family turn their backs on me, I know it's going to be all right. But listen, if the wind, if the wind, if it don't blow, if it don't, 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 don't blow, I know it's gonna be alright. Hey, oh, 
I'd like to see the hand of you that have had trouble in your lives. Thank you, Lord. How many of you have had ups and downs in your life? How many believe in the powers of prayer? How many believe that prayer will change things? Ella Cone. Somebody need prayer here. I know the Southern Airs need prayer. We can't make it without prayer. I know the Mississippi Mass Choir need prayer. And I know the children choir need prayer. But what about you? How many need prayer? Reverend is in your hand. Our Father in heaven, oh Jesus, send the Holy Ghost your stabilizer to stable us in your faith. Oh Lord, we need you more now than ever before. Help us, we pray, in Jesus' name. In these decades of the 90s, we're going to be faced with all kinds of tragedies. We're living in perilous times, church. The water supply is about gone. The food supply is about gone. Your money in the bank is not yours anymore. And our dollars has lost all, almost all of their sins. But the Lord want to do something for us as we get ready to leave you tonight. And if you want a stabilized faith, for the Lord to take you through these decades of the 90s, why don't you just come to the altar? You need help tonight? How about your children? Don't know how you're going to put them through school. to just come for them tonight. Oh, my God. 